Studios. I'm Bernadette and today I am sharing something I recorded last year. Um, it's my Halloween costume. So every year I do a Halloween costume and I create it myself. Um, last year, I, well the year before last, I was actually um, Ursula and I did the complete costume, tentacles and all. Uh, years before that, of course, I was Mad Hatter um, and a year before that I was Dr. Seuss. I was the cat in a hat. So, um, if I can find those pictures, I'll most definitely share those with you guys. So this, um, in 2020, I decided to be Maleficent. So this costume I took on and knew it was going to be harder than my other costumes only because of the wings that, um, you have to create what well, I wanted to create. You didn't have to create. I could have bought some, um, but I wanted the, the costume to be authentic, um, be um, original to what my idea of how I wanted Maleficent to look like um, in as of in detail of what I was able to create. So I decided on Maleficent, the mistress of evil, um, and her dress for that, which is usually, it's actually all black. So of course we set out to um, Joann's and I got some fabric. Um, and everything and be able to make her dressed and to add those accents to her wing and the headdress. So I started off with the wings um, because I knew it was going to be a toll. This costume all in all took me two and a half weeks to create. So with the wings I used um, some foam uh, board. Um, it's more, almost like a felt but it's a foam board and you get it off of Amazon. And I used six very large rolls. Um, I'll put that description down in the bottle. Um, and so I didn't pattern these wings. I just thought about how I thought the wings should look. And I got to cutting. So I cut a lot, a lot of different pieces. Like the wings in itself were literally the costume for sure. Um, I cut so many pieces, different sizes. Um, I gave them a slight V shape at the end of each one and then I got to layering them so I used my hot glue gun um, I set a some at the bottom and I um, continued to layer until I felt like they looked like wings and they looked good pretty much um, I did take a knife here an exacto knife um, a small one of course a crafting one and um, I started to put a little bit detail in it a little texture um, for each one of the wings there and it did give it a lot of texture like if you saw these wings from a distance or even some of them up close you would literally think that I had put feathers all over um, for these wings but I didn't of course so then I began to work on the head piece um, which in itself I actually took this thing apart three times um, to see what I wanted how I wanted it to look I ended up with this I got this fabulous fabric that um, almost looks like scales um, from the front um, I pieced it around another um, headpiece that I had created um, just so I knew that it set good like a, a cap um, the horns I ended up putting a lot of electric tape electrical tape black electrical tape over it and I patterned it so um, I layered them differently so it looked as if um, it was part of you know the drag her horns and it gave a different type of texture to it and so yeah they really did come out really really good um, on them I do end up adding um, the crow in the center uh, piece of the headdress after it's done. So here you can see the wings that I had done so far before I added any of the uh, fabric to it, any of the fur to it, and the horns. Unfortunately, um, my footage with the horns, I have no idea what happened to it, but I did put um, little, well, they're not horns, they are they horns? So she has the little bone pieces that kind of stick out of her wings. And I did add those and I add them, added those with very, very thick foam boards that I end up cutting. And I pretty much just cut them into a V shape and gave it a slight hook um, to it. And you'll see that shortly. So 
um, as those other things were kind of drying and I was still thinking of what to add to them, I decided that of course I had to have her staff. So we had to have her staff and um, I had to make it glow. So the reason for it glowing, not only because it's Maleficent and it's magic, um, but the event that I was going to that I go to every year, it's black light. So I wanted to give that the costume, of course, that extra oomph. Um, also, you'll know that you'll know later well you won't be able to see it later because I don't think I have any pictures of it the wings I actually coated in glow-in-the-dark um, the glow-in-the-dark paint so um, they did glow um, in the black light which was really really awesome so with the staff I actually used a old ornament um, that I got from the dollar store and I took the bottom of it off and I set it on top of this little plumbers um, rubber thing that I set on top of a mop handle so I used the mop handle I stuck that on I used I put um, some of these little rope uh, lights that I got from the dollar store as well stuck it inside um, and I then began to use some hot glue to add texture and to give it some extra oomph because I am of course going to paint this as you can see I used the little light switch I kept it right there by my hand so um, when I walked I just had my hand there and I can click the light on and off um, for it and I used this brown gold metallic um, paint to be able to paint the staff and give it that extra aged look um, yet keeping it gold and you see with the texture from the um, the glue it added a lot to the staff of course I was not done we had to add some extra to the staff to make it pop out right and so I used some crows um, feathers or actually there were peacock feathers but um, I put those on the staff to add some little extra texture to it um, and it give it almost like a nest look um, later on I do add a crow on top of the staff as you can see, the staff is glowing perfectly. It looks so good. I promise you guys look super, super cute. So this is the dress that I'm sorry I did not feel myself creating, but um, it had different layers to it. Um, of course, I decided to do the collar separately, which is, it almost looks like a necklace that is around her. And so I used the same material that I used on the headpiece that had the little scale look to it and I got all of these little ravens um, they were all little silver ravens I got off of Amazon and then I molded them to create little beaks for them and then I colored them and this is what they turned out for so I had a lot of them and we put them all around the dress almost to add like her little bones to the dress it's the best that I could do I couldn't find any that would be bigger but I um, I felt like it, it gave me what I was looking for just in my design. As you can see, I took the peacocks and I added little feathers there. And it, you see the fur that I added to the wings. And um, you will also see her right there. You will see her um, little horn sticking out um, out of the, her bones, sorry, sticking out of the wings there. So all in all, we're all about almost done here. Um, this is just about the finished look. I did add some crows down her, down the dress here for her. And I found this beautiful fabric that gave me a purple and a green, um, sp like sparkly thing. It, it did very well in the, the black light, but I added it to her headdress there and I brought it. It goes literally all down my back. So in order to get these um here you see the crow before i get started there's there's a crow that i set on top of the staff so in order to get the wings to stay i actually use a corset that i am wearing in the back and there's a hole in the back of the dress that i stuck the wings inside these are just pictures of me before that day just trying on the outfit making sure it looked phenomenal which it absolutely did so I ended up winning $500 for this contest like I did last year, and everybody absolutely loved the co costume. I really enjoyed making it. It um, challenged me, absolutely, especially with the wings, trying to figure out how to keep them on, how to get them to expand the correct way. Um, 
and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So that was my DIY Maleficent costume for 2020. I don't know what I'm due to create for this year, if I'm gonna create anything, but if I do, I'll most definitely um, film it and record it and share it with you guys. I thank so much again for you watching another Dream TV Studios DIY, this time for Halloween, featuring Maleficent, and I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I greatly appreciate it. Bye-bye.